<clears throat> okay, we have this integral here. It's um, 5e to the t over the square root of 1 minus e to the 2t. And this is actually a very deceptively simple um, u substitution problem. Um, and it's so deceptive, it, it threw me for quite a loop because I sort of followed the convention to let, you know, the u equal sort of the harder function to sort of make that go away. So I was thinking let u equal you know, minus e to the 1 minus e to the 2t. Uh, but then that doesn't quite work because when you take the derivative of that, you get that du is equal to, and you're going you're gonna to keep ending up with this e to the 2t, and that doesn't let you get rid of the e to the t up top. And so if you want to get rid of that, it's actually quite easy. If you let u equal e to the t, then we see that du is just equal to the same thing as e to the t dt, and now we can get rid of this entire top part of the integral. And so we move up here and we do that. We can pull the 5 out front and then we just get 1 over square root. And then see we had 1 minus e to the 2t. That's like saying um, e to the t squared. And so we have 1 minus and e to the t is u. So we have 1 minus u squared dt. And then this whether or not you can solve this just depends on whether or not you recognize that this is actually the derivative of the sine inverse function. So 1 over the square root of 1 minus you know, your variable squared is the derivative of, of sine inverse. So you take the integral of that, you take the antiderivative, it takes you back to that. So we get 5 sine inverse of u plus a constant. And then we just substitute back in for u. So we have 5 sine inverse of e to the t plus c. And that's it. That's the answer right there. So again, deceptively simple. Just uh, you have to think, I guess, a few steps ahead rather than just going in and plugging in the hardest you know, function you can find for you, thinking a step ahead and thinking, hey, how can I cancel out what's in the, the numerator here? Okay, so uh, that's it.